Hey, and go good morning guys. Hopefully the wind's not too bad. She's a good old windy morning this morning. They're talking about 37 today, so a bit cooler, so that'll be nice. Um, just here down at the cotton field, you can see here, look down the rows, they're starting to look, look pretty good. Um, but I do have a confession to make. I think, um, yeah, I, I kind of stuffed up a little. And we've got about two hectares just in here where, where we first started sowing. And uh, what happened was I was spraying, it was only two and a half days I worked out, about 60 hours, 65 hours at the most. And I think because of the, um, we had good moisture and it's been very warm temperatures, it bounced out of the ground very quickly and caught me out um, just in this certain soil type. So I've just got our um, other neighbour, so he's going to come down and uh, hopefully re-sow this uh, two hectares. And I'll just show you what it's been doing. I'm just trying to find a plant here. So you can see, because we sprayed um, paraquat with our um, residuals, just there's one. So what it does, I've left me a little um, digger in the ute. See if I can get him out here for you. Oh, oh yeah, I broke it, but you can just see it pinches the, it's burnt the leaf, but it also has pinched the stem back. So that one there, it, it may come back, but these ones here are diddled. You see how the stem's just like a toothpick, so. Um, Anyway, that's it. But then there's some that are, were obviously deeper down and they're, they're coming through good. So it's just one of those pain in the neck situations. But I'll just say uh, a rookie mistake. You know, it's... Um, <laughs> anyway, you're always learning, aren't you? I thought, well, I may as well show you guys what happens and if it helps stop that happening for someone else and... I'm sure there'll be plenty of people out there going, yeah, well, that's what happens. So anyway, I know that it happens now. So um, yeah, so we're just doing that. I'm just trying to map out or mark out where we're gonna be going and get that going. The rest is establishing pretty good. We got about anywhere from six to 15 mil, which was a, a real godsend, that bit of rain. So they weren't forecasting it. And I think it's going to get a lot of that stuff up that wasn't um, going to come up, you know. Just some of the marginal soils we got here, a bit of the red country and that. So anyway, that's a little update, guys. It's uh, another day. Actually, towards the end of the day, I'm uh, slipping. I haven't shown um, the progress of what I've been doing. We've been having a little project the last few days. And Matt hasn't been here to keep on me. So what we've got is our gas rig where we do the NH3 um, and we've just put this auto set up on it. So this big white box that's a cooler. Keep the liquid cool. When it's cool it stays as a liquid. When it warms up it turns into a vapour and when it's released from pressure I believe. So it runs about minus 30 degrees or something like that. Um, so yeah, we've been fitting that up with the boys, um, and then we've got like, uh, up here, we've got our control valve, so that's just like on a sprayer, so this one does both, it turns it on and off and regulates your flow, it's called a fast close valve, and we've had our, the boys from Palumbo's, old Brycey, out. Uh, using our top cotton screen here and we've just run a nice uh, cable through so theoretically we'll just be able to plug that into any of the other tractors so the cat has got one Steiger not that it's got linkage so we've just been doing that we've got our uh, under here it's all a bit tight but we've got our flow meter it's stainless steel uh, over here we've got all our bleed valves um, yeah pressure gauges and then our distributor head and then uh, normally this white thing on a pull-behind machine runs long ways, like north-south. 
but we didn't want to do that with this so we've run it east west uh, which means you know the fittings so we just got some fittings 90 90 and then got a pipe high pressure pipe made up so we can bring our hose in in the center here and just yeah it all looks hopefully pretty neat and tidy uh, you run your a little bit of bleed off goes down these pipes and then you just just distribute it throughout the bar so we've made up those little fancy wire bits uh, what else yeah it's been a couple of days project between the electronics and the um, oh and this is our electronic box so this Apollo is like the same we put on our air cart for those who know about watch that one and so it just basically controls your whole system so it's Raven valve and Raven flow meter and then the boys sorted that out so our Topcon Apollo should sort it so I wanted to get it done before Chrissy impossible and we have so hopefully first week of uh, January we'll hope to get gassing uh, when, once all the boys come back we'll get into it so I think now it's pretty well right to go we're just waiting uh, on a coupler a breakaway coupler in here so if your pull falls off something bad happens it doesn't pull all this stuff and make a big mess so we're just getting that worked on uh, so a bit exciting so it means that when we're going over the contours and real rough ground we can slow right down and the uh, rate will stay right uh, so it should be a lot easier on the operators too we've sort of wanted to go this way for a long time but when we've had mostly flat country it's been hard to justify whereas now probably 80 percent of our country's contours and rough so um, i think the numbers work to uh, invest the money in this and yeah hopefully it'll be a good thing Back. Another day, a bit more rain, it's looking nice and wet. We are um, brought the old gas planter over to, oh gas rig sorry, I guess it plants gas doesn't it? Uh, anyway we're bringing it over, we're just doing the maintenance, it showed you we've been uh, putting that auto controller on it up there. So we've just got the boys now going through doing bearings, seals, all that stuff, scrapers. Just checking for wear and tear. I'm mucking around with a, um, a whisker switch, trigger switch on the linkage so that it'll shut off. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to punch that out the Savi before the uh, end of the day. And then that'll be ready to go in the new year. I'll just go for a wander over here. We made a new, new purchase, new for us anyway. So a second hand bit of gear. So we got a, um, you can see it off in the distance there, it's a, uh, we got another cultivator, it's called the John Shearer one, and uh, you might think we've already got quite a few and that would be correct. Um, our thinking here is, we've been after one that's got the uh, sewing gear on it, all the heads and the boots. And we've been after one with a floating hitch. And we've also been one with the wheels out the front. And the other big thing that we've been after is the hydraulic breakout. So on the tines there. So we've got those things. Um, so yeah, it's sort of come to us. And we're able to grab it, which has worked out well. So it's got the harrows as well and the pull for the air cart. So the idea is we'll um, probably try and sell the AFM, the one we've been using for planting the organics. It's been great and still is good, but just doesn't like the rocks because it's got the spring breakout. So it's pretty hard on them. Whereas this with the hydraulic breakout makes it a bit softer. So yeah, the boys um, yesterday actually were working on this. There was just some cracks in the frame and checking wheel bearings and greasing and a few hoses and different things so just sort of getting it up to standard and um, so it's ready to go so that'll be in the future we will uh, have to run the wiring to suit um, our setup uh, they've got wiring here but that probably won't suit our um, Gason air cart so that'll be 
coming up, but at least it can go and be put to work now if we need to. So that's, uh, and then we're hoping to maybe get rid of all our other um, cultivators. So yeah, sort of, we'll go back to two then, then we'll have that one, and then we'll have our gyral as on the, just before sowing, you know, it's got that small point, sort of good for just a light tillage. Try and simplify the operation a bit. So anyway, so that's what's been happening. And um, got to try and keep you updated. Um, oh yeah, Pop's had the, been working on his tractor. Oh yeah, I think he's gone for the wide model here. I think he must have flipped the rims around on it. Look out. He's a wild lad. Anyway, good on you guys, see ya.